What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Super Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U news. But this one is in regards to an image that's been set circling around the internet for quite a while now. And a lot of you dudes have been asking me, yo Etika, cover this image, let us know what you think about it, is it real or is it fake? And it details Mewtwo. Now of course this isn't spoiler information because everyone knows Mewtwo is coming. So there's no kind of leaks or spoilers going on here. So technically you should all know this already. Um, but anyways, so it's this image and two others which have everybody talking right now wondering if this is real and it's not only for Mewtwo but it's also for Lucas because if we zoom in a little bit on the image I actually have it saved on my computer so we're going to open it up in Photoshop and see just what this image brings to the table and why it's got everybody talking now this video isn't to you know say if this is real or not this is just to you know well actually yeah it is we're basically going to question this and see if there's anything to really validate it or to disprove it in one fell swoop so um Let's see exactly what's going on. I'm just gonna make the background black. That looks a lot better for the video. And then boom, okay, so now let's zoom in a little bit more. So let's see what we have here. Everything pretty much seems normal for the roster, except we got two new people in there. We got Mewtwo up here right next to Lucario, and we have, um, and we have um, Lucas right here next to Lucina, who also manages to be in the clone aisle, I suppose, along with Dr. Mario, Dark Pit, Lucina. So I mean, it looks really authentic. I mean, the Lucas is somewhat... I mean, I don't know. It, to be honest, there's really not much that you can say which looks really out of place here. I mean, the Mewtwo image, that definitely looks more authentic than previous ones I've seen. And the Lucas one looks good as well, too. It actually fits really well. Only thing is, his head seems slightly bigger than Ness's. So if we um, move down here... I don't know, his head seems a bit bigger than me, but maybe that's just my own eyes tricking me. But uh, we also have Mewtwo here, and I mean... It's his portrait image. It's the image which was taken from the direct, and we don't know if that's actually going to be him in the game in terms of his um, pose and whatnot, but that's what raises some questions because this image is basically how he looked in the direct, which could very well be his concept art in the game. Well, not concept art, but you know, his model, his content model in the game. But you know, we don't know for sure. Everything with this looks pretty good though. I can't really see any inconsistencies in terms of lines, um, typical style used. Uh, yeah, it all looks good. The name of the character, well, the name of the um, the the set is programmed. The, the user, wait, wait, how is that possible? If the, I don't know exactly, but I mean, right here, the guy's name is Nathan, and uh, it, everything looks good. It checks out. You know, the font is even the same. It's even the same kind of font, which usually is like bigger if the name is shorter, and if the name is longer, then the font is usually squeezed in more. But I mean, it fits the bill. The only problem that I'm seeing with it here is that if we zoom in really close to this we can see that Mewtwo's black bar in terms of every other characters is slightly lower which definitely does lead to um, speculation that this could be fake because I mean look at all these other dudes right here all their bars are at the same level throughout the image even though the image is slanted they're all at the same level for Charizard, Jigglypuff, and Pikachu but for some reason Mewtwo's just happens to be tilted in an odd way well maybe not but his just doesn't seem correct look at that Look at the difference right there. The line on his um, black bar for his name is way too low. So that's pretty much confirming that this whole thing is fake. But I mean, it's interesting to entertain these images and see what comes out of them. And also one other thing that may be contributing to this being a fake is that um, the image, the border at the end of the 3DS bottom screen seems to go on longer for the name at the bottom than it does for the character portrait. But that could be something that happens normally. But the main thing that's convincing me that this is fake is definitely the difference in lines. Because you see the standard for the other three guys, you have from YouTube, it's different. Very strange stuff there. And plus, it's the same model from the freaking Direct. So, uh, excuse me, not from the Direct, from the um, 50 Fact Smash um, live stream. So, pretty much the same stuff. Um, so now there's also other images with this as well too. So um, let's look at these. I'm not even going to bother to show you those on the website. And by the way, this background noise going on. Like I said, I got roommates, but um, I'm not even going to bother showing you those on the website. I'll just pull those out right now. And let's just take a look at what these show. Now, if the other image in terms of the black line didn't convince you that this whole thing might have been faked, then this one definitely will. Look at Mewtwo's fucking model. Already, his, it seems like his hand is cut off there, but that could just be his finger behind his hand, you know? like kind of like hidden rather than being out like that this is definitely fake I mean look at the pixels look, look, look at this like it's definitely fake I mean he did his best to try to um, take a screenshot at an angle where it kind of like looks 
real in comparison to Mega Man, but definitely fake. I don't think this is legitimate in the slightest. Right. I'm sorry, he tried. He tried, but I mean, I'm not believing it. But um, I'll have these pictures linked in the description as well too, so you guys can check them out yourselves. Um, if you can let me know if you potentially think this is real. The shadows are like that for every character in the 3DS version due to hardware limitations, but um, I'm not seeing too much that really looks real here. Nothing looks real. Even Mega Man doesn't look real to be honest, but I mean, it's the angle that the screenshot was taken at. So that's what's doing it. And look at the size differences. The size differences are also another major um, contributor to why I think this is fake. Mewtwo, he's not that big of a character. I mean, he's, I guess he's somewhat tall, but even in Melee, the last game that he was in, he's not that tall, you know? I mean, I don't think that he would, I don't think that he would dwarf Mega Man like he does in this screenshot. Um, if we take a look here, I'm going to make a line, a horizontal line, and see exactly where the height, um, I'm going to see exactly where the height kind of tapers for Mega Man and yeah, Mewtwo. Let me see. I'll probably make just a black rectangle. Right, so now, to this. There we go. Okay. So now Mega Man's height in this screenshot goes up to here, which is kind of crazy. That definitely, that's definitely really short for Mega Man. Mewtwo seems way too big in the screenshot. Maybe if he was like a couple pixels shorter, it would have been more believable, but definitely not believable at this range. Mega Man comes up to his goddamn nipples for crying out loud. Doesn't seem like it's too authentic to me. But um, you guys can let me know if you see anything else that may confirm or deconfirm the, re um, the authenticity of these images. But um, let's delete these. And there's one more, of course. And you know, I wanna make sure I go through these in detail so that way you can inform your friends who, you know, are telling, because, you know, I know a lot of you guys probably get it too, these images where it's like, oh, look at these crazy ass leaked images, take a look. And, you know, there's always speculation. There's always somebody who wants to believe. But, you know, if we manage to deconfirm these right now, then you can basically shut everybody up. Or maybe I'm late to the party in deconfirming these things, but I think these are relatively recent. So, um, the final image is this one. Yeah. And it's just a straight shot of the roster, I feel, I think. Yeah, here we go. So, the other image before had the puck over Mewtwo's face. And, um, yeah, it had the puck over his face, so you really couldn't see his, um, character portrait too well. You really couldn't see it too well, but, I mean, if we open it up now... Yeah, it's... It looks good. I mean, I'm definitely going to give props to the person who created this. It looks really good, but it's not practical. I mean... I mean, well, excuse me, not practical. What am I talking about? It's not... It doesn't really look in line with everybody else. Like, you can tell that there's some pixelization of different colors going on on his forehead. It looks really good, though. It's convincing. It's definitely convincing, but it's not doing the job for me. I mean, if we compare this to the other image that we had of him when it was taken directly from the 3DS, we can see some differences. That one seemed like it was a lot lighter than me. Um, let's see. There we go. Okay, so, um... One thing we're going to do is crop out the part that has Mewtwo in it. We're going to compare that to the final image. Let's take a look here. Big selection. All right, copy that. Delete, paste. And then we're going to expand this. I mean, the inconsistencies in terms of the lighting and the brightness could simply be because he took this from the screen, but, uh, Still, it doesn't really seem like it's... Let me see, maybe I can turn the grid view off. Maybe I can't turn that off. I don't know, I'll work on that later. But I mean, it doesn't really seem like this is too authentic. It just seems to be something wrong with the pixelization. Like, he seems like he has too many... Like, the colors are a little bit off, in my opinion. Like, like I don't know if you can see what I'm seeing right now. But, um, like, for example, you can see kind of like some shades which are like red, green, like, like look at the colors here. You can see what I'm talking about now. Look at the coloration that's here. You don't really see that on other characters who have the same lighter tones. Like if you look at Mewtwo, and then you look, you know, Mewtwo right here has a lighter tone and look at the colors there. You can kind of see like there's some spotting in terms of um, like, you know, purplish yellow blues and whatnot, but you don't see that on the Wii Fit Trainer at all here. 
Well, you see it a little bit. Okay, so maybe that can't be used as an argument to prove this is fake. You see it a little bit on the for trainer. I mean, what do you guys think though? I mean, I definitely don't think it's real. Simply for that first image, the black bar, that deconfirms it for me. But maybe that's not enough to make you think that this image is fake. But right now, in terms of this set, I'm 85% fake, 15% real. It's gonna take a lot for me to come around for this one. But um, we'll see though. Only time will tell. And you know, if that <laughs> if that leaked image we got earlier yesterday is anything to go off of, then we could potentially be seeing a Nintendo Direct this month with a Mewtwo trailer. So I mean, we'll see. Either way guys, thank you for tuning in. Let me know your opinions on this and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.